Kelly Shaw. I'm with the Rocky Mountain Sasquatch Organization. I'm in the Redwood Forests. I'm doing a sighting report that happened uh, September 19th, 2003. It was a guy uh, traveling from San Francisco to a friend that moved uh, to Gold Beach in uh, Oregon. And uh, he was traveling at night about 1.30 p.m. and he was about 20 miles out of Crescent City. And uh, he says the traffic was going a lot faster than he wanted to go. So um, on the two-lane roads uh, uh, going through the Redwoods on Highway 101, every time there was a turnoff, he would uh, pull into one and let traffic go by. Well, anyways, and, and I'm, I'm off of Highway 101 right now you may hear some of the traffic going by I actually walked back into the forest a little way so the traffic wouldn't drown out the camera or me talking anyway um, but anyway he pulls into this turnout to let traffic go by about 20 miles uh, south of Crescent City and uh, he pulls over and he's in a Honda CRV and he's got the window open and all of a sudden something just screams he says it sounded like a lady getting stabbed uh, with like a parrot sound uh, mixed into it. And uh, he ducks down into his seat. It scared the crap out of him. He ducks down in his seat and he screams too. And then he looks up out of his window and he says the best way he could describe it is a two-legged dirty gorilla. It had uh, uh, dark brown, dirty or dingy looking hair. And... Uh, they said it was just a massive creature with a wedge-shaped head. And after it screamed and he screamed, it turned and took off into these woods that you can see behind me. And I'm going to pick up the camera and show you guys around. Uh, uh, the, <laughs> the redwoods look like a purposely made groomed garden is the best I can describe it. Just, just gorgeous and thick. Well, anyways, uh, I'm going to do another sighting report in the location not too far from here but uh, the very next night a couple seen about the same thing this guy says uh, this creature was about seven feet tall that uh, screamed scared the crap out of him he said he about had a heart attack as it ran into the woods but I want to uh, pick up the camera and pan around a little bit and show you guys what the redwoods are all about it's just such a beautiful place but anyway um off of highway 101 there's a strip of redwoods between uh, the ocean and the freeway and we believe that uh, the Bigfoot probably go down to the ocean uh, to get kelp and seaweed and uh, clams and crabs and whatever else washes up into pools or washes up on shore or gets stuck in tidal pools and whatnot. I mean these trees are just massive. But when I get into the redwoods, it just feels like I went back uh, to prehistoric times. The times of the dinosaurs. I mean, we are in the land of the giants. And look, there's Jenny. Jenny's standing under a... Just for size comparison, I mean, look at how massive these trees are. But yeah, you feel like you're in the land of the dinosaurs when you come into these... And I mean, it'd be so easy for a Bigfoot to hide from you in this thick jungle stuff. All right, well, we're on a tour of Northern California, Oregon, and uh, a little bit of Nevada uh, going to Bigfoot sightings, Bigfoot sighting hotspots, and hopefully I'll have a few more sighting reports uh, to do for you while I'm out here.